We've got the juice on four NBA player props for these upcoming games. If that sounds interesting, let's get into it. Sub to the channel because your boy's getting busy. Coming to you live from the west side of Sydney. We've got the free picks and the juice and the daily. It's all free. You don't even have to pay me. I just want to give a quick shout out to my boy Steve. He spent over a month in Toronto, caught a few Raptors games. He brought me back this hat and I promise I'd rock it on the next video. Uh, also, if you rate the backing tracks on these videos, check out LTD Productions. Uh, I'm not going to waste your time on anything more. So let's get straight into the picks. Harry's with me today. Harry, how you feeling? I'm good. I'm good. Good to get into it. You ready to sweep it out? I want to go 4 and 0 tonight. What do you think? What do I think? I think it's going to happen. So let's do it's it. It's going to happen. All right. Well, I'll kick it off. My first pick of the day, taking Kawhi Leonard over 33 and a half points and rebounds. He's averaging 29.2 points, 6.3 rebounds over his last 10 games. That's 35.5 points and rebounds. His shot attempts are up. He's attempted 20 plus shots in four straight games despite poor George being back in the lineup. He's also playing consistent minutes as well. His rebound numbers are very inconsistent, but when the matchup is great, he delivers. His last big outing was 11 boards against the Bucks, who have a very similar, num uh, similar number of rebounds allowed to small forwards this season as the Nets. So the Nets allow the third most points and rebounds against small forwards over the last seven games. Loving the way that Kawhi's been playing, and I think he delivers once. Now, Harry, into your first play, what are you taking? In DeMar DeRozan, over nine and a half rebounds and assists. Tell me why. Uh, I'm running one and a half units on this. Uh, he's hit it three out of the last five at home. He's hit it in four out of the last five wins by 10 plus. And he's hit two out of the last three versus the Spurs. Um, the Spurs are giving up the second most assist over, uh, and the 15 most rebounds this season. Uh, high game total of 237 points. Should give uh, the Rosen a lot of opportunities to cash us today. Um, <clears throat> he's seeing 37 minutes per game and should see 25 plus today. Hopefully it's not a blowout, but you just never know with the Spurs. So I'm going to go back to DeRozan's rebounds and assists here. Yeah, I loved it you know, a few months ago, so I'm going to go back to it today with a good matchup. So I hope they can deliver for us, get us this We're going back to the well. I rate it. Our next two players happen to be in the same game. They were the same uniform that you happen to be wearing. So I'm taking Giannis. I'm taking the Greek Freak here over 34 and a half points. That line is huge, but there's a reason why. He's averaging almost 43 points per game, and he's covered this line four times in his last five games. Bobby Portis and Serge Ibaka are out, so Yana should see a few extra minutes compared to his season average. Nurkic is also out for the Blazers and for a team that already allows the seventh most points in the paint. Yana should cause some havoc inside. The Blazers allow the fifth most points to power forwards over the last seven games. The line on this one's only four and a half, so we're not expecting a blowout on this one. The game, game total is huge, 239, so the books are expecting a lot of points in this one and so am I. So, Taking the Greek freak over 34 and a half points. Harry, finish, finish us off. What do you got? Taking Drew Holiday over 11 and a half rebounds and assists. Um, I didn't actually check the lineup, so I'm glad you said that. Um, he's hit it four out of the last five away games. He's hit it two out of the last five versus Portland. He's hit it three out of the last five with 30 plus minutes. Portland are giving up the third most rebounds and the second most assists allowed to opposing point guards over the last 15 games. Close spread of 4.5 and a high game total of 239 points. Should give uh, Holiday a lot of minutes and game, yeah, game time to hit this over for us. Um, and as uh, Dan just said, with the Nurkic being out, um, I'm sure he's going to find Giannis on the cut every single time. So he, he could hit this over and assist, to be honest. Um, he probably could have a few rebounds with Nurkic being out. So um, great kick here. One and a half, uh, actually 1.25 units on it. So uh, we're going to play that one. And yeah, that's the last game. So that one hopefully brings us home for the Bring out the brooms. Bring out the brooms, baby. We're going sweet. Well, if you've made it this far, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you do, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Close to a thousand. That's what we're going for. Uh, let us know in the comment section what bets you're on. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Tune in on Wednesday. Good luck, punters. Gamble responsibly. Sub to the channel because your boy's getting busy. Coming to you live from the west side of Sydney. We've got the free picks and the juice and the daily. It's all free. You don't even have to pay me.